So people today really think, oh man, I need a thousand dollar video card to play games at like a frame rate that's more than one. Bull crap. Enter the 670. Now this one is the Galaxy 670, but I'm not really reviewing this exact one. It does have a custom cooler, which is rare back then. Back then you had to pay a lot extra to have a custom cooler rather than just a blower style. But uh, anyways, it costs about $100, $110 on eBay. Uh, that's buy it now prices. And they're four gigs of VRAM and two gigs of VRAM. This is a two gig that I tested with. Uh, I managed to overclock it to what? 1176 on the GPU and 3208 on the, on the uh, RAM. I almost said CPU, duh. But anyways, uh, this card is pretty sweet. It's about 170 watt TDP, which isn't, you know, gonna over, you know, suck up too much power. You probably run a couple of these in SLI with a 600 watt power supply. But, uh, you know, it's a nice little card. It's really, really, it's relatively small compared to the freaking 1080 Ti over there, 320 watt TDP. This is like, that's all you need, really. But uh, with the overclock, I was pushing the thermal limits on it, so that's about as much as I got. You can, might expect more out of a beefier cooler, but it'll be hard to find a beefier cooler than this guy, unless you water, you know, water cool it. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's a pretty sweet card. It, you know, does DirectX 11. Uh, it's pretty modern, plays a lot of games. As you'll see in a minute, uh, it's a lot stronger than you think. All right, so welcome back from those benchmarks. This guy is a little beast, as you saw. This thing's freaking 67 frames a second, 1080p, shadows and mortar. How, like it blew my mind that it was even smooth, let alone 67 frames a second. That's ridiculous. So uh, that being said, this guy is a 1080p sweet spot. For 100 bucks, you can play any 1080p games, almost like fine, medium, ultra high settings, you know? Better than you expect. Good luck with finding a 1080, 1050 Ti for 100 bucks or a 470 or 460. That cryptocurrency has ruined prices. This is still a decent price. So uh, this is I recommend this for like a home theater PC card because you know most home TVs are still 1080p and most you know computer monitors are 1080p. Just put this in your home theater PC, put your Steam on it, play all your Steam games with your friends, play on your couch, whatever. This guy will be quiet as long as you don't overclock it. I, my overclock, I got it pretty loud with the fans, I gotta be honest. But, you know, this will play whatever you want. You play Witcher 3 on it, you can play Tomb Raider, Shadows of Mordor, uh, Metro Last Light, everything was perfectly fine at 1080p. Now, at 720p, you could probably max out every single game there is. I really. I think. It, I feel like I should have tested Witcher 3 at 720p, but eh, I mean. Medium, 54 frames a second, 1080p, that's all you need. But uh, yeah, a really sweet card for a really sweet price. It is old and it's a bit hot for its power, but I mean, look at the prices of cryptocurrency has affected uh, GPUs nowadays, it's ridiculous. This guy will get you by just fine. Now, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, maybe subscribe. I'm gonna have more videos like this coming out very soon. I think I'll be doing SLI 570s, which may burn my house down, but it'll be worth it. Also, I have a GTX 6 or 760 happening at some point, and maybe if I can get it working, my 9800 GT. Now, that's like a 10-year-old video card. That'll be something else for sure.